Even after multiple failures, you should never give up. It's not over until the fat lady sings. If you keep at it, you will reach your goals. Um, so we say it's not over till the fat lady sings. Uh, it refers to at the end of an opera, uh, usually when the, was it a tenor or a soprano? When uh, Usually the, the, the opera singer who's usually heavier uh, sings the final song. We say it's not over until the fat lady sings. So that means it's not over until the final second. Uh, so it's a common expression we use. And then second, if you keep at it, you'll reach your goals. Keep at it means keep going, keep working hard. Uh, your boss or your teacher might tell it to you at work. They'll be like, hey, keep at it means keep working and keep applying your efforts. So it's a shortened way of saying it. We just say keep at it. Never surrender your dreams. It is always darkest before the dawn. Even if you think things can't get any better, if you keep trying, eventually you will succeed. Um, so the expression, it's always darkest before the dawn means, you know, at night, uh, the sun has not come up yet and it's very dark. That means things are very, very bad. So in your life, when things are bad and you think there's no hope, uh, dawn, the sunlight or good thing is going to come any second now. So even if you feel bad and down, something good will be next or around the corner. We say there is an opportunity cost for everything. You need to get ROI on the time you put into something. If you can't get something back for the work you put in, you should focus your efforts elsewhere. Um, so I said there's an opportunity cost for everything. Uh, so the opportunity cost means, you know, if you, you're doing one thing, you cannot do another thing, or you're giving up the opportunity to do something else. Um, and I said, you need to get an ROI on the time you put in. ROI stands for return on investment. So if you put in five hours of work, you should be getting something back. If it's money or kind of you make things better for yourself or you create something, that's ROI. But if there's no return on your investment or ROI, it might not be worth doing something. You know, for example, if you put in $10 to an investment, you would expect maybe 10 or more dollars back. That's ROI. You have to weigh the pros and cons of your decision. If the cons outweigh the pros, you should give up and focus your energy on things that will make you successful. Um, so uh, I said, weigh the pros and cons, or we say, what are the pros and cons? Pros are positive aspects of something and cons are negative. For example, if you would like to move to a new apartment and it's in a neighborhood, you know, pros are it might be cheaper, the house might be bigger, but the cons are it's farther away from work or your child's school or the neighbors are noisy. So for example, if the cons outweigh the pros, so if there are more cons or bad things, that means it outweighs the pros. So we think of it as a scale. The pros are positives on one side, the cons and negatives on the other. So if the bad things outweigh or weigh more than the pros, you probably shouldn't do it. Thanks, guys, and thanks for downloading. Also, we're starting the Instagram page. Uh, it's going to be Matt Sam. That's M-A-T-T-S-S-A-M. Thanks for downloading. Bye-bye.